Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany from My Inner Temple. This video is about spirit guides. Who are these spirit guides and do I have one of these? If you have these questions in your mind, stay tuned to this video to find out. So who are these spirit guides? To me, very much like what we have in the physical dimension, we have parents, siblings, teachers, and friends that are here to help us along our journey. As above, so below. We also have non-physical or spiritual guides that is here to assist us along our spiritual journey. Rather, it is to help us fulfill a certain life path or to gain a certain skill as a soul and so forth. These guides can stay with us long term or short term. They can be here throughout our lifetime or there, must, there are some guides that, that will only come in for a specific duration of amount of time or they might only come in during specific situations as we uh, need their assistance. So there are uh, so many of us out there, uh, we all have our own perception. So you may see that there's information out there saying there's four types of guides or 20 different types of guides. In this video, I'm sharing seven types. I think that at the end of the day, number doesn't matter. It is all about the information that is being shared. And the end goal is to help us expand our awareness and consciousness about our physical and spiritual existence. So the first type of guide is very common. It is the angels. The angels have been described by many people. There must be billions of stories and encounters with these angels. Rather, it is the non-physical form of the angels that we channel, or some people refer to them as earth angels, taking the form of a human being. These angels are higher density beings that are multidimensional and they are here to guide us along our ascension journey. I'll give you an example from my experience. I have an angelic guide that comes in. Her specific goal to help me is throughout my difficult relationships. So in, in regards to uh, romantic partnerships, whenever there is a hardship or a crisis or a difficult time, that angelic guy will manifest herself as an older woman that comes and talk to me in public places such as the marketplace or uh, the transit system. And she'll always take on the form <laughs> of an older woman that just comes in really quick, starts a con conversation with me get my mind blown with the wisdom that she shares with me. Now, I'm an introvert. I don't even like talking to people in public places. But every time when I'm in a crisis with romantic partnerships, the older woman will come into my life and drop wisdom like bomb after bomb. And so I'm like, I didn't even ask for this information. It just comes through. And everything that person said really resonates with me. And the difference is whenever that person uh, interacts with me, I feel this euphoria. I feel so much unconditional love. I feel that my vibration is raised and that feeling continues throughout the day. So this is how one of my angelic guide uh, helps me realize her existence is with this repeating pattern and understanding the energetics behind these inter uh, encounters. Number two, the second type of guides are the runners. So the runners may have been in the past perceived as fairies, elementals, or earth spirits. These are guides that um, grab our attention really quickly. So when you look around the clock and you see 1111, when you look on that side and you see a license plate 555, <laughs> especially on the mornings where you were like, guys, please help me. Give me a sign that I'm on the right path. And then you see these numbers. That's your runners at work, ensuring you that you're still in alignment. You still watch over. Don't give up. Runners are also um, here to help us find lost items as well. A lot of psychic mediums or intuitives will just tap in, talk to our runners, and be able to find things pretty easily. So these are the runner guides that we have. The number three type of guides is the ones that 
are called what I call the joy guides and joy guides usually makes you laugh and it makes you it's almost like a guy that does laughter yoga with you you know you're just chilling sometimes you may not feel you know, be feeling so great and all of a sudden all of a sudden something really funny comes into your mind or you guys try to cheer you up and make you laugh those are the joy guides it helps raise your vibration by making you happy or making you laugh the number fourth type of guides is the helpers. The helpers is very fast. It's very hard to talk about them in just one short little video. But helpers are generally the ones that help you find information. So for example, let's say you have an ailment or illness and you're searching for the specific person. You're like, I need the specific massage therapist or I need the specific healer. Where can I find this person? You make a prayer and you make the intention to the universe that I need to find this person. And then next thing you know, you might get like a message from someone saying, hey, check this person out. Or so a friend may come to you and say, hey, have you heard, met this person? Uh, she's a massage therapist. She helped me with this, 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 this. And then you're like, that's exactly what I'm looking for. That's your helper's guy coming in, helping you, facilitating, uh, facilitating your journey by giving you information. The next type of guide are called the teachers. So the teachers are generally uh, there to help us along our spiritual awakening journey. It's here to help us remember some of our gifts, remember our karmic lessons, and they're here to inspire us, to help us grow, and to help us raise our consciousness. So teachers can be anyone um, very much like in the physical dimension with teachers and classes, same thing in the non uh, in the non physical realm in the spiritual realm. These teachers, when you tap in during meditation, sometimes uh, you hear thoughts, sometimes you get a feeling, and when you get more and more in tune, you can actually see them and feel them during a channeling session, and they will help you understand. Why are you going through this situation? Guides don't, from my experience, guides don't really like to tell you the future. They won't tell you two days from now, you're going to meet your future husband. They won't give you that kind of timeline because there's just too much variables and that's not what they're here to do. They're here to help us understand and to help us uh, go forth our journey. The next type of guide is the masters. The master go a step beyond the teachers. The master is here to help us look deeper into our light and darkness and to help us heal our old wounds, whether it is past life wounds or childhood or past experience wounds. They really help us dig deeper into our shadows and to our light in order to help us become enlightened and awakened. The next type of guy, which is the last type that I'm speaking of today, is the protectors. The protectors are the ones that um, safeguard you in the spiritual dimension. I know a lot of people say that we might have entities or might have zero cords, but these guys are to make sure that these entities or these cords do not interfere too much with your life path or they do not threaten you to the point where it jeopardizes what you're here to learn as a soul. The protectors are also who we invoke before any healings, before any spiritual ceremonies. Um, they are also here to protect us from psychic attacks. These are all guides that you can invoke and ask. They can also teach you how to protect and shield and cleanse yourself as well. So these are the seven types of guides that we work with. Again, at any given time, you might be working with at least 18 guides, even in one day. So um, you are never alone. There's always help out there for you to access. Tune in and listen. Be still. Sometimes the answers only comes during a moment of stillness and quietness. This is why I always encourage my students or clients to really bring meditation into their practice. When we become still, we will find the answers. And the answers are always much simpler than we thought. Thank you for tuning in with me today. Namaste.